All right, I think I'm recording. It's my first ever vlog by myself. God, I'm such a spoiled fucking asshole. I usually have a cameraman, but no worries. All right, there we go. Ah. Fuck! Oh shit. Too much back on that one. First set's always a hard set. Oh yeah, I meant to tell you. It's week three, day three. Deficit snatch grip deadlifts at 140 kg, 308 pounds. It's my third straight week. I'm supposed to do 10 sets of six. 60 reps. I never do 10 sets of six. 10 sets is too many sets. I'll do like sets of seven. And then every time that I do these deadlifts, you're training your whole posterior chain. So I'm gonna superset with this. Two. Damn, those are fucking good. Every time. Fourteen in the tank. One, two. All right, two rounds in. All right, third set. Coming on it. Probably should put some clips on this bar. Oh fuck. I said I can't be can't be bothered right now. I try to squat more. It's the hardest thing about this exercise. You want to use your legs as much as possible. Save your back, because you're using your back a lot. No matter what. God damn. Oh, these things are fucking hard. Every time. That's why I love that exercise though. Extremely high value for time. You'll hear me talk about that a lot. Value for time. And always select the exercises that provide you the most bang for your buck. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be some kind of squat or deadlift or major compound lift that you're incorporating the most muscle with. All right, catch my breath. Here we go. Three. All right. Round three. Whew. All right. Smarten it up. Clips on your bar. So hopefully you guys have been watching my other vlogs. This one's like hopefully going to be better because it's actually me talking more and explaining things. I wrote an article like two years ago about this strength cycle, except I use a trap bar instead of a straight bar, but it's a deficit deadlift either way. And you're trying to incorporate as much legs into the deadlift as possible. So it's like a squatting deadlift, all right? And it fucking, it blows you up, all right? Just check this out. Set four, oh, every set. Literally, I gotta get my mind right for these. 
because these are so honestly mentally and physically exhausting. All right, here we go. A little narrow stance. I think knees out, toes pushing through my toes, chest up. Here we go. I'm gonna squat the weight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, squat. Ah. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh man, that hits your erector so hard every time. So that's four sets of seven, 28 reps. Fuck, man, I'm not even halfway when I think about it like that. Fuck. All right. And immediately, I want to superset that again with my ab wheels. It's gonna be curious to see what happens with these vlogs. All I know is I'm not gonna fucking stop. So now I'm gonna hit basically every muscle in my anterior chain with this ab wheel. You may or may not have heard this before, but the standing ab wheel is the gold standard of abdominal strength. You don't see many people doing it because it's really hard. You have to have a lot of requisite strength to build up to it. So hit three reps. One, good. Oh. Two. Pull back in. Boom. Oh my god. Every time. You feel the most intense contraction right there in your abs. And I promise, if you can do those, you're gonna be able to do basically any abdominal exercise. All right, for real. Extremely high value for time. All right, let me double check. Yep, it's recording. It's kind of fun. My first of legit vlogs. I try to do this more often. People probably think I'm weird sitting here talking to myself, but at least one person's gonna watch this now. I always, oh fuck, sip on my pre and intro workout shake during my workout. I just use pre-workout caffeine. I use bulk by Transparent Labs, but I'm paid to say that. I don't really care if you use this brand or not. Although I do really like it and it is legit. But all you really need is caffeine for your pre-workout in my opinion. It's the most important one. I've had some of my best workouts just on a straight cup of coffee. So there's no really magic pre-workouts. All right, I'm gonna quit bullshitting around. 34. Ah, 35. Oh, fuck. I'm blowing up. It's good. Again. It's Tinica. It's my girlfriend, wife. Tanner and Tinica. Has a good sound to it to me. All right, here we go. Whew. Yeah, so one thing I probably didn't mention, I'm doing a program from Sebastian Orb, known as Australian strength coach. He was the coach of Half Thor Bjornsson in the mountain from the Game of Thrones, World Strongest Man. Oh my God, why am I, I don't know why I'm wearing this. He's got me on the strength cycle, a decent deadlifter, but I'm not actually doing any straight bar or conventional deadlifts. Just for three weeks straight, I've just been doing these 60 deficit snatch grip deadlifts. And I've done these before, all right? But it'll be interesting to see how long he keeps me on these. This is the third week. Next week may, might be a deload week, I'm not really sure. I don't even know how I feel about deload weeks. I feel like if you lose motivation and you get tired and your workouts are suffering, deload weeks are good. But I think a lot of people, they don't need to worry about overtraining. I think most people need to worry about undertraining. Let's face it, most people don't work out that hard. All right, set six right from the side. See how, how well I can keep my back flat and chest up with this weight trying to pull me down. Legs. There's seven. 38. Ah, 39, fuck. 40. Oh, 41. 
two. Oh. Fuck yeah. yeah. I didn't even mention, mention this before, but that's the only thing I'm doing in this workout. Two exercises. Deficit snatch deadlifts and ab wheels. And I'm basically training every muscle in my body. Every major muscle, minus my pecs and triceps, but I'm hitting basically mainly every muscle in my body, which is how I like to train. Two, fuck. Three. All right. Whew. At least my ab wheels are feeling better today. It's one of those exercises you have to do all the time to get good at it. And if you don't do it for a while and you do it, it completely wrecks you. Like my abs will be sore for days. But if I do it consistently, then actually I don't really get that sore from it. And I notice my abs get a lot stronger. Hit 60 deadlifts and 30 standing ab wheels. That'll be a solid workout. All right, 42 reps. That's six sets of seven. Here we go, it's gonna be seven sets of seven. Play this angle's a little better. My low back is getting tight. That's all right. Fifty. Whew, I hit eight. I don't know why I hit eight. All right. That's fifty. Deficit deads. 21. Whew. Something I don't think enough people understand is the importance of strength. Strength work and getting stronger is actually the single greatest way to spend your time exercising because nothing offers you more value for your time. Not to sound like a broken record, but getting stronger, building muscle or maintaining muscle is the best way to improve your health, but also increase your longevity, health span, lifespan. A lot of people don't think about that. It's doing cardio is important. Believe me, I do a lot of cardio. And I'm way more fit than most everyone on YouTube that's a fitness YouTuber, all right? I'll spend my time doing cardio and training my heart and lungs, but I definitely spend the majority of the time lifting weights and getting stronger. Even right now, I'm 36, but I'm still as strong as I've ever been. In a lot of ways, I'm stronger than I've ever been. It's because I do a lot of strength work. All right, 50 reps in. Jake, you don't care if you're in my YouTube video, do you? Sweet. He doesn't give a shit. Fuck it. I might just bang out 10 right here. Finish this motherfucker. Oh. 51. 52. 53. 54. 55. 56. 7. 8. All right, that's 60. Oh fuck, I'm blowing up right now. Low back is tight. One good thing about these is I've gotten heavier each week, same volume. It's actually gotten a bit easier because I can feel my body's adapted to it. Like two weeks ago when I first did 10 sets of these, then I was fucking blown up. That night I remember I couldn't sleep because my central nervous system was so fatigued and the next day I felt like a literal train wreck I couldn't even train the next day Whew. last week was a bit better and I think this tomorrow will even be better and it's crazy because I've gotten heavier each week same volume but I actually completed these 60 reps in fewer sets what I did I did 10 8 18 and then sets of seven. I think I did it in like seven or eight sets instead of 10 sets. So that's good. I still gotta hit 30 ab rolls though. This will be 22, 23, 24. Oh, here we go. 25, six, 26. 
seven. Eight, fuck two, one. Whew. Oh, fuck, 29. Fuck. 30. I'm giving it to myself. Damn. My abs feel like they're gonna rip apart. I already know I'm gonna be sore as shit tomorrow from that. Whew. You know what else is crazy? I didn't even mention this. So I started that clock right here. I got all those deadlifts done in actually like 34 something minutes, plus the abs. That was 60 deficit snatch grip deadlifts at 140 kg, 30 ab wheels. Just making sure I didn't walk in front of my girlfriend's camera so I get pissed off. But yeah, solid workout. And I got that done in less than 40 minutes. I might do something later on this vlog, but for right now, that's week three, day three. All right, and uh, it's a good ass workout. And my entire back is blown up. All right, two exercises. Sometimes less is more, and that's how you get strong.